folks, we've heard you loud and clear and we're pleased to tell you that we have extended our merch drop for an extra week. So you've got until December 17 to get yourself some goodies. After then, they're really gone forever. So treat yourself, support the channel and enjoy the video. We're going back to Belgium, to Europe's Reading and Leeds. And we made a big mistake because we had way too much to drink. In a drastic change of pace, this week we're going to show you what happens when three people get it completely wrong from flying into the wrong airport to spending hundreds of euros on a taxi and booking the wrong kind of accommodation. You're about to see the tensions build between three best friends as they try and cling on to a good time while having too much to drink. Welcome to The Real Deal. Patreon executive producers, we cannot do this without you. We love and appreciate you so much. Thank you for your continued support of this channel. If you join now, you get early access to videos and special extended cuts. Folks, we have arrived once again at the greatest country for festivals in the world. See if you can guess what it is. As always, we're against the clock. We need to be at this event within the next two hours before the box office closes. And it's gonna be an extortionate taxi, but there really is no other way from this terrible airport. We've had this trip booked now for maybe a month and I've been solely dreading this one moment getting this taxi just because of how expensive it's going to be. This airport is truly terrible for this. Feeling good Vals? Do you know what? Can I you... could be feeling a lot worse. You ready to see something insane? Go on. Well it'll be when we get dropped off. It'll be oh. the price of this. Yeah it'll be like how much? 300? Mm. No and the rest. How much? Well we'll find out. Well, hopefully that's the most expensive taxi we ever have to get. Come on, gang, we're against the clock here. God, this is stressful, man. We have flown, so this box office closes at 10 p.m., which is a reasonable time to close, like, that's fine. But fuck me, to leave it down to this last 20 minute absolute sprint after traveling from 1 p.m. this morning, this afternoon, is mental. God, I don't think we've ever truly been in a situation like this before where we literally race the box office right now. This is the worst start to a festival I've ever had. I can't, I can't see a box office anywhere. I can't see a box office around here. Fuck me, we got 10 minutes here. Oh, that was stressful there. Eh? Hey. Good God. That was a close call then. All right, so we got them in the nick of time. Five minutes left, we've got the wristband. Well done. Thanks, we made it. So this is actually shaping up to be maybe the most expensive festival that we've been to all year. We're now off to our campsite, which is a paid upgrade and it costs this much and you get a tent or you get three tents or a tent for three. I'm hoping it's three tents. Let's check it out. This one is empty. Oh. oh, thank you. All right. And so we got three of these, yeah? <laughs> all right. Here we are in our home for the weekend, which cost us. So is this one my tent, yeah? This oh is. My God. Yeah, it is yours. Oh, perfect. And cool. mine and Mary's as well. What, what do you mean? Like, get hurry up with this and let's get a beer. 250 quid that for this. Are you so taking the piss? Wow. Right, let's drop these bags off and fuck off. I assume, Mary, you're on the single. Yeah, definitely. I'm getting changed. I'm not going to be long. Now, here's something that I haven't seen since 2016. Obviously, a lot of festivals are cashless, which I'm an advocate for. If I can use my card, brilliant. Here, you can't use your card and it's not on a wristband. You've got to buy tokens. 50 euros worth of tickets, please. Yes, that'd be fine. This is not what I want to have to use all weekend because these can get lost and it's just annoying. It's I'd rather have the wristband with it all on. So I'm getting a beer. Yeah. The beer is two tokens. You get a reusable cup, so the first oh, so the two one tickets one. is one. one is I understand, yeah, I understand. <laughs> Get me a so, beer. Yeah, we know. One's for the cup, Jake. One's for the cup. So we're in the campsite, which is separate to the festival. Kind of like rock workshop. Watch that video. It did really well. We can't take our reusable cup into the festival, so we have to cash it back in like for a token. Like Tomorrowland. You've seen them all. Let's get in this festival, eh? 
Let's get in. God, they're partying in there, man. They're having a great time. And we're out here, waiting for Mary to take an Instagram. Right, we're through the metal detective, and we are in Hucklepot. It's been a long time coming. Can I have some of that vape, please? I know I left mine in the tent. Looks like there is loads to show you, but I think I think it's probably best if we leave all the cool stuff to show you until tomorrow when it's a bit lighter, because it never looks good during the dark. You never get a good sense. So let's just enjoy the night. So the bars all sell different drinks, which is a little annoying. The, I can kind of understand why, but you can't get spirits at the main bar and you can't get wine at the main bar. You have to come to a specific wine bar. But here we are, just for exactly that. Is the, is the drinking age here 16? No. No, it is. 16 under? No way. Hey, cheers. Four tokens for them. Yeah, I mean, what does that work out at? Like six pounds. Six pound each for a prosecco. That's quite, that's quite Half of it on floor as well. Oh, sorry. I've gone for the chalky method. Double A the drinking to get double A the fucking. He's a smart man. <laughs> Gonna, I was gonna say that's the least impressive fireworks that I've ever seen. Yeah, it wasn't. It, it's just because you're from England, you don't right. see much I like guess, that anymore. You know what? These guns have been to lots of Belgian festivals. Oh, yeah, it's no, a, no, no, it's no. The first one. I think, you know what? That was phenomenal. And it's not even the last song. I thought I meant it was the last song. <laughs> Fresh bit, the bars will still be open. I'm assuming. Yeah, we should go to that. Actually. Yeah, we should. So, Rob, so Rob's, Rob's guaranteed the bars are open at DJ well, Fresh. The bars Tuesday. must be open. The place runs till four in the morning. They're not going to keep the main stage bar open when the act's finished. Yeah. Good point. We've got to a point where in 2023, on there's still no female urinals at any festival I've been to, and it's so easy to just make. We can just like do what a man does, but without the penis element into a thing. And the biggest issue I have at a festival where I come to with all you guys is to like wait you have to wait for me I and mean, it's just well I'm here pissing with you in in solidarity but you know what I mean it's like I, all I need is a quick wee and I'm out yeah and the men there's we just passed like a, a load of urinals and it's just annoying because I could use them because they were bit, built for females not a waist height but a floor height there's no reason they shouldn't exist and I'm sick of it it's 2023, let's get women rhinos. It's all about equality. I'm sick of waiting for people sat in the cubicle doing a fucking makeup while I have no shy. If you need a shy and you want to do makeup, come to a fucking thing. If you just have a quick piss, I want to go your rhino. No, I'm not Poland. I'm not Ben. Don't, don't ask me ever that question again, yeah. I'm, I'm not, not Poland. Can not you believe I got asked the question? We found another wine bar. Perfecto. As they say in Belgium, perfecto. You can't say it's gonna be, we're gonna be. DJ Fresh was great, man. My only requirement there is I wish Razzy was here. Razzy would have loved that. What's up with you? I'm trying to find my tokens. They'll be in there. They will be. I'm looking in my zip pack. It's all gone. Because these can get lost. But we haven't spent it a full week, a full night of tokens here. They're not there in my bag. These drinks are so fucking strong. When did we get so oh. Jesus Christ Almighty! That is the strongest double I've ever had in my entire life. I'm really happy about all the EDM here. 
but I just know Raz would love it. Raz, you're a dickhead. There's something about the Prosecco here, man. The Prosecco here just get, got us a little bit fucky, and now, like, we're a little bit fucky. Yo, the vibe is killer here, man. Killer vibe, man. I got hammered and I am currently hammered beyond belief tonight. I am like, we, sorry buddy, we got here and um, you know, we needed to get hammered and here I am, I'm hammered, so God, oh. as soon as I leave it starts getting good, eh? for real man, I'm going to be fucking organically sick here not just from down in a drink. It's important that despite peer pressure, you uh, you know your limits. And I hit my limit, sat around that camp. I hit my limit, sat around that table. Good God almighty, fuck me. How do I get out of this festival? How do I get out of here, man? Oh, man. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. I need a piss. I need to be sick. Oh man. This place is like rock works are on crack. Je Jesus. I need to be sick and I don't know where. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do it in the most appropriate place possible. But um, don't worry if you're eating. We got the content warning now, but fuck me sideways. I am absolutely catastrophically hammered. Oh, all leads though, aren't we? All leads. All right, Valley said one, two, three in. So, so I guess it's this one. Perfect, right. Now I know where we're staying. If you want to see what happened here, just jump on the Patreon. Because we can't put it on YouTube anymore. Now it's time to go to bed. Good God. I am so... F I, I forgot which tent is mine. Is it, is it this one? Oh, I think it's this one. God, fucking hell. Man. Oh, shit. I have had... <laughs> So much fucking booze tonight, man. It's not even funny. I only had six tokens left for the night. And you know what? What other way to spend those six tokens than with a good old Afro Spritz? You never had one of those lightsabers from the Kellogg's cereal box. Hey, let's go get some food, yeah? Yeah! What is that? Is that a Subway? No, it, it, I know it's, not real it's a coffee of juice no, plus food. What is that big sandwich under the... That's breakfast. Oh, so you that's, not, breakfast. that's not going on right now. Like a that's bread. Bicky cheese. She, you want a Bicky, don't you? Can you Bicky is, is that good? It's very nice. Is it what is a Bicky? It's Belgian. It's a um, burger. Meat burger with meat. And you like me? Onions and special sauce. We just met a lovely guy at that food stand who was genuinely a really nice person. Yeah. He let Mary try some of his burger. And what did you think of the burger? Really what did you think good. of the Bicky? You know what? I was in the queue. I was about to get a Bicky, which is a Bicky cheese, which is like a bit of, what is it? A cheeseburger. Yeah, it's a cheeseburger, cheese isn't it? Burger, yeah. So I was about to get a cheeseburger. I was also going to get a bolognese dish because I thought, you know what? Why not? When um, in Kivet? What's happened there? I have literally no idea. I'm not gonna lie, for, for a place that loves chips, these are dead chips, man. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll eat them. No, but yeah, but try one without the sauce. I still got sauce on it. 
Good God almighty, I am fucked. I've gone dizzy just by standing up. Got so drunk last night, tried to put my Instagram on out of office. Oh man, colossal. We're off for a shower. Wish us luck, it's 11 a.m. Looks promising here. I hope so, I just want to shower. Oh, this is cute. This is the biggest shower oh queue I've God, ever seen in my life. still fucking going. Should we try for the axe one? It was short, wasn't it? Yeah. What is this? I don't really know, like, there's just shower here, and like, just for everyone to just watch you shower, because there's only one, so there's only like one, like, thing to stare at. This is weird, man. Well, that served the purpose. It was a bit weird waiting in the line for one shower that everyone can watch, but I'm clean. This is a tough one, this. Yeah. Why did we go so hard last night? We shouldn't go that hard on the first day. That's for the last day. That is the last day, I think. For the last day, we'll have to go easy to balance it out. <sighs> okay. I want to go get some noodles from that noodle bar. That looks cool. Yeah, I'd like some noodles as well. That's noodles cool. and a beer, maybe. Yeah, beer. Beer. Because you know what they say? Drink a fucking beer now. A big child Fontaine. <laughs> that and is that good. I think they have to make that quite accessible. This is something I'm really excited about because I absolutely love noodles. Noodles are up there with crisps for me. And there's a noodle stand here of a brand I've never heard of, so we're gonna get some of them, try them out. Pretty good, you know? Mary's so impressed she's going in for seconds. If you're a noodler like me, I'd love to know, what's your favorite brand of noodles? Because I'm always looking out for some new ones. So let us know in the old comments down below. We looked on the weather yesterday and said it wasn't gonna rain anymore. The thing, the thing that we've learned is the weather's always wrong. So it, we're assuming it's one token. Yeah, it surely isn't gonna be any more than a token. What a piece of cheap shite. Wait a minute. Oh, it's ripped. Literally, I'm not even misusing. Where's the fucking hole? Oh, Jesus Christ. What a load. How much was that? One and a half tickets, which is about five. Oh, this is horrible, man. Perfect. You feel dry? You don't, you don't feel like there's any water on you? Right, in the effort of getting out of this rain that we've already sat in for 40 minutes, we're going to go in the thrift shop and try and find a hat. And I did get another noodle. This time it's a curry one. So we're in the thrift shop now. Um, it's good. There's lots of shite. Not really much, actually. There's a lot of these hats. I just want something good that's going to look good, but none of this really looks that good. It is like when I used to go to charity shops with mum and we scared someone from school would see me in year seven. God, it's warm. It is. I'm knackered after that. Nice one. Bro. Just got a naughty. Um, half a ticket for a biodegradable rain poncho at the drinks counters. Is that what this is? I doubt it. Do you think it's worse than this? I think it'd be better. We can get a good look at the site for the first time because it was dark yesterday when we came in. You can actually wash your clothes here. What? It says wash, wash here, t-shirt. You want to have got all the on it. What's the point? I don't know. Strange. Hey, do you want to look at the merch? Yeah, I'd love to. Best thing here is that DCC shirt. Yeah, it's nice. For stop you, stop you, all the Thomas Gates, Nifty, Bayern, Burger, Wobbing, Huyken, Eiden, Football. Stop you, stop you, Metsen, Slap, Homspout, Gaat niet voor, maar achteruit. Fijn, fijn, inderdaad, voor de kinderen. Fijn, fijn, inderdaad, voor de kinderen. Fijn, fijn, inderdaad, voor de kinderen. Fijn, fijn, I never liked Aperol Spritz. I didn't either, you know. And then we went to Kendall Carlin and they had a proper Aperol Spritz bar and it was brilliant. But every other Aperol Spritz I've had has been shit. What's your appetite? Oh, have you got one already? That's yeah. A really, that's a good one. Is it? It's that's real really nice. Mm, it's a bit bitter. Kate Nash would like that. So we got to come upstairs on the Aperol bar just for the price of our personal data. And that's something I don't care about so you can have it as long as I can sit up here. I have so much energy and I'm having a good time. I have so much energy and I'm having a great time. I have so much. This stage looks cool. It's like something from Tomorrowland. Very uh, visually appealing. I don't really want any of them cocktails because they're not real cocktails. What are you gonna have? What are you gonna have? Bubbles. I don't really know. I don't want wine. Wine, wine. The wine's for me. Wine's for we'll the wine. The Maybe, I don't know. I mean, the only reason we're having a ropey time today is because of the wine. The wine is the leather. All right, fucking the Paul bubbles. McCartney. So we've just been sat in this tube reminiscing on all like all discontinued sweets. And that's what we're doing that. It's making me really hungry. So I've got a sausage. What sauce is that? 
All right, the sun is out and we've had a lovely chat about chocolate bars, which has brought the mood up a little bit because I was almost ready to go home, to be honest. Obviously, I can't do that, but that's what I was feeling like. But now we're back with a bang. Let's get Frikadella. In the interest of seeing some bands we don't normally see, we've flagged a few artists that we've not seen. And this next one's quite popular. It's a hardcore band, maybe, called Turnstile. So let's check that out and we'll see how shite that is. Mary can show us the, her two step during it. Yeah. Well, that sounds pretty good. It's all right. It's not what I expected. Oh, it's me either. general admission toilet it is literally as good as my guest bathroom at home in fact it's better because it works chalky this is a massive tent this is ginormous well wow, look at the trust me it's big it's, it's massive <laughs> nothing but these very good now we're off to see we just got a notification on the app saying that they've got their first ever virtual headliner on at the e-rena so let's go see what the fuck that means So the idea here is there's Buffle Pop in Roblox and you can watch her in Roblox as well. So that's what I'm trying to do, but I've no fucking idea what I'm doing. So look, there she is, in real time. Oh, wow. That's pretty good, you know. Joe, you know that was really cool. I'm uh, very impressed with that. And it did what it needed to do because it made me download Roblox. So, mission accomplished. Very cool. What should we do here? What What shall we do? The vibe is dead. Yeah. We need to just start drinking wine and then all our problems will be fine. We did that last night and... and we had a great fucking night. We did for a bit, but like it wasn't that good. I had a great... You, uh, you got two fucked. But me and Jake, had a we sit out till 4 a.m. You know what kills my vibe? Rob Keller's always been like, oh, this is boring, I'm bored. I'm being honest, I'm bored. Yeah, and now I'm bored, but before. But you can't blame, you can't blame me for you being bored. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying that. Right, when the sun gets down a little bit more, we'll go up. That's just what happens every time. But the sooner I don't want wine though. Why? Because it fucked me yesterday. Yeah, and that's a good sign. But I want to, like, if we do that, we're just sacrificing tomorrow again. A good festival has enough to distract you from even thinking. And all we've done today is try and have a good time. And if you have to try and have a good time, it's probably not very good. Sitting up to say this. I'm, I'm going to pledge that we're going to have a good night. And if you do the same, and if you do the same,
Fred Durst, is that you? Get the fuck up! Who's Fred Durst? The lead singer of... I've devised a little pub crawl for us. We're starting out in a nice place called Hedgehog Cafe, which I've been assured by Google is a bar. Is this is this the specials um, pub crawl? What's that? You know. Whoa, living in a ghost town. What up against everyone? <laughs> They're inside Hedgehog Cafe getting clumsy. They better be. <laughs> Great work finding yeah, us nice. pub number one, the Hedgehog. Right. I didn't know they wouldn't take card. Okay, number two. <laughs> Okay. How far's number two? Oh, God, the barrel. The barrel. <laughs> You'll find me in the barrel. Where's the barrel? Where's the barrel? I'm fucking looking now. Okay, here we go. Two minute walk. Where are we? The barrel. We ordered a beer, a beer, and a eato, and only three shots because uh, Mary didn't know it was a customer by the way or a shot. Well, I mean, if he when he comes back, is it really? That sounds ridiculous. Do you know what's ridiculous? What? Not being able to go to the bar and say, can I have a beer, please? Having to sit and wait. Why do they do this in your Having to sit for table service. Is it for tipping beer? reasons? I don't think so. I don't think I'm about to be tipping. It's just for the table over. If they don't bring me a pussy, then it's here. Let's have a great night. We're going to go out in the town we in Belgium. We did not to see Chase and No, well. shut up. Hey. And Do you know, you know Jake, we were all saying that, and then as soon as we got here, we were all having a shit time slagging off Puckle Pop. And then we got here, Rob immediately starts slagging off everywhere. I think, with the greatest of respect, yeah. there's gonna be no respect here. The first bar was shit. What, as in we Hedgehog? Pay. Yeah, of course. The second bar was also. But pay. how was I to know? No, of course. I'm not saying you were. The thing is, the difference here is, it's not a personal attack on you. No, but it's just the vibe commenting. Kill was purposeful attack. But you just sat in the wine bar glued to your phone. Posy vibes, baby. Exactly. And that's why, Jay, you're your best one. Right. Global reset. Don't matter who thinks who's been negative. Global right. reset. Right, you know what we're all going to do? We're all gonna say one nice thing about each other again. again. <laughs> yeah, again. Fax is here. That's another. Fax is here. We don't. Uh, have time. Well, in the just, <sighs> just know that we all like each other. Well, that's not enough. No, it's coming down. Uh, well, we still have time. Um. Go on. Independent boss bitch. Oh, thanks. Brilliant on scheduling posts on social media. <laughs> Um, I'll start with you. <laughs> this is all from Belgium's. Yeah. Uh, the first one is a Vigna Noble di Montepulciano. Do you know a little bit of wine? To be honest, no. I'm very uncultured when it comes to do, wine. Do you, do, this one is, is more acidity, it's more red food. Yeah. I hate to say it. But we ended up having quite a good night there. Yeah. That, you know what? That fucking says it all, doesn't it? I hate to say it, because Rob Kels has had the worst vibe known to man. As soon as he sat down... Who's I had a worse vibe in the last half an hour? Me I or you? Because yeah, you've been radiating your negative energy Oh, me. please. Now, Gaslighting I, I 101. I a brilliant pub call. A brilliant pub call. First one was, was closed. Yeah. No, Sec it wasn't closed. No, 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 we did just no, listen to card. No, the second one was wait, a wait, wait, wait. The first one, Hedgehog, <laughs> was bound to be good. Unfortunately, it didn't take card and everybody looked at us like we were freaks. But that might have been because I had Google Map directions. As soon as we got off outside, we were like... You've arrived at your destination, and the people on the table were laughing. Like, I just felt like a wanker. Didn't take card. We go to this place called The Barrel. It's got good vibes, good music. Rob feels like a slapped ass. He's doing this stair thing where he's pretending to not acknowledge your existence. You do that. Don't you do that all the time? Yeah. It's Michael, so that was a biker bar. And I was really <coughs> trying hard. I was literally like, come on, like... Oh, and all Jake, right. you know what, Jake? Jake kept saying, do all it again. Right. All right. All right. And you know what? He was really trying hard. It was like me and Rob were an old married couple who hate each other's guts. You and wish you could marry a son. man like me. Right, we're back in and we're ready for Chase and Status. The last time I saw these boys was at Download 2012. So, Chase and Status, what's up with that? I mean, I'm not saying I didn't enjoy the performance, but I'm saying it's not like a download type of thing. And I think people enjoyed them and stuff, but there's only a certain amount of times the dude can say this.
Oh, me. please. Well, I enjoyed chasing status, but it'd be nice if they played some of the bangers. Yeah, like, one, two, three, my heart stops beating. Just a double vodka Red Bull. Do you want some vodka in your Aperol? Please, have some. That's a real bad idea right there. Yeah, I didn't want it to be this small. Why don't you get, go get another glass and you can... So we've taken a drastic change of pace here and we are out till half three in the morning. But now we're going for a bicky. Mary loves a bicky. So we're gonna get a bicky and we're gonna gonna cram into three man tent that's not suitable even for two man and uh oh god I'm, do you know what i've done it again guys i've done it again i'm hammered that that was meant to close at two hey rock and roll though mate rock and roll never dies you know what i'm saying yeah hamburgers bradwurst and hot dogs this place is the best burger place i've ever encountered they don't even have cheeseburgers it's just hamburger but she puts the samurai sauce on crispy onions the meat quality is sublime it's there's no gristle it's all like just one piece of meat it's not reformed it's like one piece of meat and you're gonna experience it Rob, i'm ready and it's gonna be great you're joking it wasn't an early sauce night. They have no browers left. So that means you should have loads of buns, not hot dog buns. They should be equally out of hot yeah. dog buns as they are browers. Thank you. This is so crispy. It's not like a brioche hot dog roll. It's a full on hard. It's not like a burger, man. I'm disappointed. I got two. They should have said, you know what, we don't have any buns left. Mm. On these. Man just Yesterday ended up all right, to be fair. Taste of status was great. I really enjoyed that. Mary was a bit of a vibe killer, but you can't win them all. And this is our last day today. And I'm feeling good about it. Oh, they're a brave choice. Wow, nice shades. Look shit, darling. Uh, let's go. Florence and the Machine. Yeah, that's Party great. thing, innit? Yeah. What was that? Uh, so, because they cancelled, they, I think someone just organised, like, they want to still listen to Florence, which is pretty nice. I think it's amazing how a little bit of sunshine can give, like, a completely different perspective to everything. Like, all this was here yesterday, but we were so, like, gloom and hungover, and just didn't care at all. That, that's why, yes, it was a bit boring for us, probably boring for you to watch as well. But now the sun's out, it's great. Right, we're back in the VIP lounge, which again, I don't know if we covered is a paid upgrade, you can pay this much for it. And do you know what? It's very rare that I'll entertain sitting in a VIP area. I hate doing it. But on our day as hot as today, with a bean bag here, and a, you can order a full Desperados in the bottle for just one and a half tokens. I'm gonna spend some time in here, man. It's been a long year. And are you going back for the line as well? No line. Oh, the ratings would not be happy with that. Well, after sitting on these bean bags for two hours, we've decided it's time to not sit on the bean bags. We sat for like two hours drinking Desperados, so I'm glad we got out of there into the Desperados tent. Look at this Desperados. What's that? Let's find out together. Eh? Thank God for that. Mary, that is a lot. It's not. That is so much. Oh, that is. Jesus. <laughs> That's not gonna I, need to, I don't care, I'm leaving it like this. Marginally happier. Now what are we doing? 
tokens. Some tokens to buy some food. Right, let's go get some tokens and okay. get some food. So I got the vegan option of the karma kebab, and do you know what? It looks great actually, and there's no salad on it this time, which is always what I want. Mary, it's not appropriate to let fans blow you. <laughs> Cracking a smile, are you? Frozen mojito. It is so warm. I can't stress how warm it is. Look, you can't, can you see how burned I am on camera? Not really, but. Trust me, I am. Right, we're off to see a band that you've never seen on the channel before. The band that played the first ever Leeds Fest I wasn't at in 2008. Let's enjoy them together. Everyone's on a good vibe. Yeah. Mary's happy. Yeah. This first Leeds Fest you weren't at. 2008 is the first one I didn't go to that when I knew about it. No, I didn't know about it. I didn't know about it then. Fucking cheering. Let's get the stage. And just put me one trail on my transmission because it wasn't televised. Coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. Gotta, gotta be down because I want it all. Book up on you might have not got a fair trial out of us because of our colossal hangover that we had yesterday. But do you know what? It's been alright. It's been alright. I think I'd rather go to Rock Lurcher and I'd definitely rather go to Tomorrowland. If you're in Belgium and you want to go to a festival, make sure it's Tomorrowland. And if it's not Tomorrowland, make sure it's Rock Lurcher. But if it's not, you can have a great time at the Book Up Pop Festival. God. Right, Val's ready for Leeds Fest in two days. Oh, I'm fucking ready, baby. Good God almighty. I need a sleep. Absolutely. Nice sleeping at three man tent. Well folks, that was an interesting one. Um, I'm actually really happy with how this video turned out. It felt like when we were there, like there was no chance of a video even even happening. And quite quickly after we got back, I realized there's actually a pretty good video there. Sometimes you don't have to be all positive. And I think that is part of the real deal is showing, you know, some people having a not so good time. It is a shame because the festival itself is great. It's just when you do it like we do it, and you've done so many now, a festival kind of has to stand out, and this one simply didn't. Even though it was the first one in the season where we saw like Billy and the Killers, um, it just simply didn't stand out, and, and we didn't help ourselves. So sorry if you got a bit of a, a bad rep, Puckle Pop. I think if you could go to one festival and, and Puckle Pop was the one, then you'd definitely have a great time, but mixed amongst all the others that we do, it's um, it just didn't have enough to to, to keep our attention so I understand that's on us and sorry if uh, anyone at Puckle Pop's upset about that but um, most importantly a massive thank you to the people on screen if it wasn't for you lot we wouldn't have been able to get that stupid taxi we wouldn't have been able to fly out we wouldn't have been able to, to do any of this that, that you see on this channel so a sincere thank you from me and the whole team for continuing to help us bring you this content we love and appreciate you and we'll see you when we see you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.